Now, inclusion body fibromatosis or infantile digital fibroma, relatively uncommon in my practice at least, but a good thing to know about. Uh, they often are in the dermis, um, of course, uh, in babies, on the digits usually, and they can extend down into the fat and you can get a little bit of fat entrapment at the bottom. And they're gonna be composed of bland fibroblasts or myofibroblasts and fascicles oftentimes. I've seen some cases that were a little bit uh, more haphazard and less fascicular than here. But oftentimes in fascicles like this that intersect and then the key is when you look close, finding these little inclusion bodies that are little clumped up aggregates of actin filaments. And uh, supposedly you can stain them with a smooth muscle actin stain and a variety of other kind of um, uh, stains uh, like uh, phosphatungsic acid hematoxylin, which I, I don't even remember the last time I've seen that available in a lab. Or I don't know, maybe my lab can do it and I just don't realize it. But I think on H&E, when you look closer, usually you can see them. I One uh, trick that I've seen is occasionally I've seen other bland spindle cell tumors on the, the acral skin that had occasional red cells scattered around that kind of mimic disappearance. But usually uh, in these, once you see the, the, the inclusion bodies, they're everywhere. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's what we're dealing with. So uh, there you go. Just be aware of that and, um, and know they'll look for the inclusion bodies if you see something like that on the hands and feet.